Wilhelm Adalbert Hosenfeld was born into the family of a pious Roman Catholic schoolmaster, near Fulda, in Hesse, within the German Empire, on May 2, 1895. He was raised Catholic, and Christian charitable work was emphasized during his education. He was influenced by the Catholic action and church-inspired social work, and also by Prussian obedience, by German patriotism, and by the increasing pacifism of his wife, Anne-Marie. Hosenfeld also took an interest in the Van der Vogel movement, this was a German youth political group. From 1914, he served in the First World War, and after being severely wounded in 1917 he received the Iron Cross second class. Hosenfeld was drafted into the Wehrmacht in August 1939 and was stationed in Poland from September 1939 until his capture by the Soviet Army on January 17, 1945. His first post in Poland was Pabianitsa, where he was involved in the building and running of a power camp. Then he was transferred to Wegrof in December 1939, where he stayed until his battalion was moved to Yadov at the end of May 1940. He was finally transferred to Warsaw in July 1940, where he spent the rest of the war, attached to Guard Battalion. 660, part of the Warsaw Guard Regiment e. he served as a staff officer and as the battalion sports officer, Beam was responsible for sports events at the Army Stadium in Warsaw. Hosenfeld had been a member of the Nazi party since 1935, but grew disillusioned with the party and its policies, especially when he saw how Poles and Jews, were treated. He and several fellow officers felt sympathy for the population of occupied Poland. Ashamed of what some German troops were doing, they offered help to those they could whenever possible. He had befriended numerous Poles and made an effort to learn Polish. He also attended Mass, received Holy Communion, and went to confession in Polish churches, even though this was forbidden. His acts of kindness to Poles began as early as autumn 1939 when, against regulations, he allowed Polish prisoners of war to have visits from their families and even pushed successfully for the early release of one. During his time stationed in Warsaw, Hosenfeld used his position to give refuge to people, regardless of their background, who were in danger of persecution by the Gestapo, sometimes by getting them the papers they needed and jobs at the sports stadium that was under his oversight. Hosenfeld surrendered to the Soviet Satplany, a small Polish city about 30 kilometers west of Warsaw, with the men of a Wehrmacht company he was leading. He was sentenced to 25 years of hard labor for alleged war crimes, due to his unit affiliation. In a letter to his wife in West Germany in 1946, Hosenfeld named the Jews he had saved and asked her to contact them and ask them to arrange for him to be released. In 1950, the Polish pianist Władysław Spielmann learned the name of the German officer who had offered him assistance in Warsaw in the winter of 1944. Spielmann sought the intercession of a man whom he privately considered, a bastard, Jakub Berman, the head of the Polish secret police. After a few days, Berman paid a visit to Spielmann's house and said that there was nothing he could do. He told Spielmann, if your German were still in Poland then we could get him out. But our comrades in the Soviet Union won't let him go. They say your officer belonged to a detachment involved in spying, so there is nothing we can do about it as Poles, and I am powerless. Władysław Spielmann never believed Berman's claims of powerlessness, in an interview with Wolf Biermann, Spielmann described Berman as, all-powerful by the grace of Stalin, and lamented that, so I approached the worst stroke of the lot, and it did no good, Hosenfeld died in a Soviet prison camp near Stalingrad, shortly before 10 p.m. on Wednesday, August 13, 1952. His cause of death was a rupturing of the thoracic aorta. In October 2007, Hosenfeld was posthumously honored by Lech Kaczynski, the president of Poland at the time, with a commander's cross of the Order of Polonia Restituta. Spielmann's son, Andrzej Spielmann, 
had long called for Yad Vashem to recognize Wilm Hosenfeld as a righteous among the nations, dedicated to non-Jews who risked their lives to rescue Jews. Along with him, the Spielmann family and thousands of others asked that Hosenfeld be honored in this way for his acts of kindness throughout the World War II. On November 25, 2008, Yad Vashem posthumously recognized him as righteous among the nations. On June 19, 2009, Israeli diplomats presented Hosenfeld's son Ditlef, with the award, in Berlin. On December 4, 2011, a commemorative plaque in Polish and English was unveiled in their presence of Hosenfeld's daughter Jorind, at 223 Nipodolgoszczy Avenue in Warsaw, the place where Hosenfeld discovered Shvi 